Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tuko pamoja kwenye ibada zetu za revival. Revival zetu zimeanza, tunaanza jioni, lakini baba ameona ni vyema nikuje mchana wa leo au asubuhi tuanze pamoja ili kwamba nisiwe mgeni kwako katika majira ya jioni na zile siku zilizobaki. Sema amina. Tutakuwa hapa kutoka saa kumi na moja lakini ni vyema ukafika saa kumi kama unaweza. Beba mtu mlete mgonjwa, mlete aliye na matatizo na Mungu atakwenda kumsaidia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tuko mpaka siku ya Wednesday na Mungu atafanya miujiza mikubwa. Hakikisha kwamba usikose kukuja. Mlete mtu, mlete rafiki, mshawishi mtu aje katika kongama kongamano yetu na utakuwa wa baraka kwa huyo mtu mwingine. Bwana asifiwe. Na pia kwako usikosekane. Alafu usipate jambo lote la kukusababisha ukakosa kufika. Kwa mfano usiumwe, usife, usipoteze mtu, usiende popote. <laughs> kwa jina la Yesu nimehairisha kila mpango wa wote ambayo ungekusababisha kukosa kongamano hilo kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Kama unaamini pamoja na mimi sema amina. Sema amina. Kitabu cha Isaya 40 aya ya 30 na 31. Na Hata vijana watazimia na kuchoka. Na wanaume vijana wataanguka. Bali wa mungoje yao Bwana watapata nguvu mpya. Watapanda juu watapanda juu watapanda juu kwamba kama tai watapiga mbio wala hawatachoka watakwenda kwa miguu wala hawatazimia Zaburi 130 mstari wa 5 tuweze kuunganisha pamoja andiko hilo Nimemngoja Bwana roho yangu imemngoja neno lake limemtumainia nafsi yangu inamngoja Bwana kuliko walinzi waliongojea asubuhi naam walinzi waliongoa ngoja yao asubuhi baba asanti kwa neno lako halijawahi kutoka bure naomba hata asubuhi ya leo napokuwa linapita likamguse mtu. Kuna lile kanisa la nyumbani liko katika online wanapotazama mbashara kule walipo. Nema hii kawafikie kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Sema amina. Sema amina. Maandiko yanasema ya kwamba wa mungoje yao Bwana hawatazimia wala nguvu zao hazitaisha. Wetu wengine wanaweza wakazimia lakini wale wanaomngoja ya Mungu hawawezi wakazimia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nataka nizungumze machache kuhusu kumngojea Mungu au faida ziliyopo katika kumngojea Mungu. Cha kwanza Mungu sio mwanadamu. Na uwezo kumngojea mwanadamu akashindwa kufika kwa matatizo mbalimbali ambayo anaweza akamkumba mwanadamu. Kwa sababu mwanadamu anayo mapungufu yake binafsi. Mwanadamu yote hajawahi kukamilika. Ana mambo ambayo hayapo sawa katika maisha yake. Mwanadamu anaweza kapungukiwa, anaweza kakosa, anaweza kaishiwa, anaweza kaumwa, anaweza kafa. In other words, ukashindwa kukutana na ile mipango mlikuwa mnaweka na yeye. Lakini unapomngojea Bwana, ni hakika mia kwa mia lazima atakuja tu. Mwambie jirani lazima atakuja. Amen. Now, how do we wait upon God? Tunamngojeaje Bwana? Bwana anapatikana kwa neno lake. Kama unamngojea Bwana, kituo au stand ambao unaweza kumsubiria ni ndani ya neno lake. Kwa sababu kawaida Mungu akihaidi jambo, anahaidi jambo kupitia neno lake na anatamka. Anasema I will come as I came to sow and sow. Wakati Mungu anaongea na wana wa Israeli anaongea na Ibrahim kuhusu mwendo wao waende Misri. Alimwambia Ibrahim, 
mahali umelala nimekupatia lakini wajuku wako wataenda kwenye nchi ya ugenini ambao sio makwao baada ya miaka miane nitakwenda kuwafuata that was a promise the promises of god are yes and amen they might delay but they will finally come to pass they might take long but you cannot die before you have seen them coming true because god is a faithful god Manike nasema baada ya miaka wakaenda Misri lakini lazima baada ya miaka 430 Mungu aliwafuata. Amen. Now, what must be done when you are waiting upon God? Unapasha kufanya nini ukiwa unamsubiria Bwana? Number one, you must abide in his word. You must abide in his word. Manika nasema ya kwamba walipokuwa Misri wakimsubiria huyo Mungu aje kukutana na wao kama alivyosema walianza kumulilia walipokuwa wanamulilia akawasikia na alipowasikia akakumbuka neno lake So as you are waiting upon God you abide in his word How do we abide in his word by confessing it Mungu alisema Mungu alituhaidi Mungu alitupromise, Mungu alituambia, Mungu alisema. So walipokuwa wanamulilia Mungu, wakataja Mungu wa baba yao. That is the God of Abraham. Walipomtaja Mungu wa baba yao, Mungu akalikumbuka agano lake. That is by his word. Maandiko yanasema akaenda kwa Musa, akamwambia, "Wacha na kazi zote zifanyazo kwa sasa." Nimesikia kilio cha watoto wangu. Nimeona mateso yao. Nimelikumbuka agano langu. Agano lake ni neno lake. So whoever is waiting upon God must not be away from the word of God. Sasa kuna watu wanasubiri Mungu, wanamngojea alafu wana faint. Yaani kwa mfano alimwamini Mungu kwa jambo fulani kasubiri mwaka wa kwanza mwaka wa pili mwaka wa tatu hajaona muujiza alafu anakata tamaa anasalim amri anaondoka the reason why hao watu hushindwa kumuona bwana kwa sababu hukaa nje ya neno unapokaa nje ya neno kuna changamoto hutaweza kuzistahimili praise god There are some challenges you won't be able to conquer them when you are waiting upon God. Kwa sababu waiting upon God it is a personal journey. Ni safari ya mtu binafsi. Tunaweza kuwa tuko hapa sote tunamsubiri Mungu lakini kila mtu ana ahadi yake na Mungu. Can I compare it like being in a vehicle when we are coming from town? We all enter in the vehicle coming back to Migadini. Lakini kuna wale wanashuka kabla Migadini mwisho. Na uli ni moja. Si ndio? Kuna wale wanashuka gari haijaenda mbali. Haitaka ashuke round about ya changamu. Lakini amepanda gari ya kwenda Migadini. Tena kuna wale amepotea njia. <laughs> na yeye amepanda gari ya kwenda Migadini. Kwa hivyo ufai kumtegemea mtu mwingine ukiwa kwenye safari Bwana Yesu asifiwe Sasa watu huzimia mioyo wakiwa wanamsubiri Mungu kwa sababu wanakosa kutulia ndani ya ahadi ya Bwana Kama unamsubiri Mungu tulia kwenye ahadi yake Aliyesema atakuja Mwambie ujirani alisema atakuja Ninajua atakuja Number two, why people fail? Watu wengine hufikiria kwamba we are on the same standard. Tunaweza kuwa tuko sehemu moja, tuko pamoja, tunaishi pamoja. Lakini tunaoperate kwenye ngazi tofauti kulingana na hadi zetu tulizopewa. Kuna wale Mungu itaonekana kwao amekuja haraka. Kuna wale wengine kwao itaonekana kama Mungu amewasahau. Lakini Mungu hawezi kusahau kwa sababu si mwanadamu. Kitu kingine 
Ninaweza kuwa nilianza kumngojea Bwana nikiwa Nairobi. Amen. Kwa mipango yake isiyojulikana kwa sababu haitaji ushauri wa mtu ni afanye jambo alafu akakwambia nenda migadini. Ukafika migadini kamkuta mwingine na yeye amengojea kipindi cha miaka minne Sasa yeye hajui Nairobi amengoja miaka ngapi. Wao wanavyotendewa kiwa migadini anasema inaonekana huyu Mungu ana ubaguzi. Mwambie jirani hujui nimengojea miaka ngapi muujiza huu. Mbona usimwambie mtu? Panda spaza sauti zaidi ya maski. Mwambie hujui nimesubiria Bwana kwa miaka mingapi. Kwa hivyo usiniige. <laughs> Kuna watu wamekesha miaka. Kuna watu wamefunga miaka. Paka katoloni kwenye sehemu za maombi wana vyumba wanajulikana. Sasa akija kutendewa kesho usiige huyo mtu maana hujui amesubiria kwa miaka mingapi. Sasa challenge inakuja hapo. Watu wanazimia. Anasema mbona mimi nimeomba sijajibiwa? Mbona mimi nimefanya hivi sijajibiwa? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sasa maandiko yanasema ya kwamba vijana watanguka. Wenye unaona wana nguvu watanguka if hawajakaa ndani ya ahadi za Mungu. Kila aliyeketi hapa iko ahadi Mungu aliongea juu ya maisha yako. That's why you are here. Amen. Kila mtu aliye hapa kuna ahadi ya Mungu juu ya maisha yake. That's why hujafa. Mungu hawezi kuruhusu ukafa kabla ahadi zake juu yako hazijatimia. Mungu alimwambia Musa wakiwa jangwani akamwambia watu wamenichosha nataka niwaue wote Musa akamwambia baba watu watasema wewe huna nguvu uliwatoa Misri umekuja kuwaua hapa jangwani watasema wewe ulikosa nguvu ya kuwaingiza Canaan maana that was the promise Mungu akasema kama ni hivyo nimewasamehe <laughs> I declare to you You will not die on the way. So Mungu hawezi kutoa hadi ya uongo. Maandiko nasema ya kwamba hawai wala hachelewi. Maana hadi zake ziko pale pale. Na maandiko nasema wa Mungu jao Bwana watapata nguvu mpya. Praise God. Now, number three. When you wait upon God, he will feed you on his word atakulisha kwa neno lake Zaburi 103 Psalms 103 from verse 3 4 and 5 Zaburi 103 verse 3 4 and 5 Maandiko yanasema hivi Asamehe maovu yako aponyae magonjwa yako yote akukomboa uhai wako au komboa uhai wako akutia taji ya fadhili na rehema au shibisha mema uzee wako ujana wako urejeshwa kama tai very important whenever you are waiting upon god he speaks the future in the present anasema ana ushibisha uze wako alafu na ufanya kama ujana for example when we are here Mungu hawezi kuzungumzia what is here now tiari tuko nayo hawezi kuzungumzia jengo hili kwa sababu tiari tuko nalo anachozungumzia ni yale yajayo kwa hivyo anakusema kwambia kwamba hata uze wako wachana na saa hii hata uze wako bado utakuwa kama kijana. Haleluya. Mwambie jirani wachana na ya saa hii. Mwambie jirani wacha ya saa hii. Hata uzee wako hautaweza kupungukiwa na chochote. Anasema anakushibisha mema. Now, most of the time kinachofanya mtu akaishi ni kile kitu anachokula. 
Bwana asifiwe. Ada katika kidaktari kawaida watu magonjwa yanayowaua inasababishwa na vile vitu ambavyo wanakula. So what God will do atakisha navyo kushibisha navyo ni vile vya kukulinda miaka yako na umuri wako na vile unavyoonekana unabaki tu kijana ili kwamba ile ahadi kwako iweze kutimia uweze kuifurahia Caleb and Joshua so we around 8 70 lakini wanapoingia Canaan walikuwa bado ni kama vijana wakati wale vijana ambao hawakujua ahadi ya kutegemea Mungu sababu walizaliwa kwenye muujiza Are you following me? Kwa sababu kuna kile kizazi kilizaliwa jangwani. Hawana historia ya bahari ya shamu ikipasuka. Hawana historia ya Mungu akipiga Misri. Hawana any testimony. Kwa hivyo they have never known how to wait upon God is all about. Eh? We have those people in church. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amina. Hawajawahi kuona kanisa la vumbi watu wakipiga magoti wanakaja wakirudi nyumbani. Hawajawahi kuona kanisa kuhubiri bila vyombo ha what it means to a preacher. Hawajawahi kuona kanisa likivunjika watu wote wanaenda mchungaji na mke wake na wazee wawili wanabaki na hilo kanisa they don't know. Sasa kulikuwa na kizazi hakijawahi kujua wanasoma tu kwa vitabu. Kuna sanduku hapa ina fimbo ilifanyaje? Ah, kuna mzee mmoja alinyosha hiyo fimbo juu ya maji, maji yakapasuka ikawa njia. Paka wana doubt yeye ni ujiza ya Mungu. That was a generation. But there was another two men there. Who were the eyewitness of that miracle? Caleb and Joshua. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Walikaa kwenye ahadi za Mungu. Mpaka wanaingia Canaan. Kile kizazi ambacho akikuwahi kutest ni ujiza ya Mungu ya kumngojea. Wanasema mwana mwambia Yosua Bwana Yosua tafadhali tafadhali tufikirie kama unapeana ardhi tusipewe upande wa milima tafadhali tafadhali Karebu and Joshua ye yeah, Karebu akasema Musa nikatie kipande cha mlima kule juu kwa sababu nasikia nguvu zangu niko kama vile nilivyokuwa na miaka 40 When you wait upon God you will renew your strength. Hii miaka kutembea kwa miaka inakuwa ni hesabu. Sio sio issue. Sasa kuna watu wengine miaka inavyotembea na wapa pressure they don't wait upon God. That's why we have many birthday parties we don't know the age. Tu anakuambia pastor Leo basi yangu niombe. Mwanangu umefikisha miaka ngapi? Mungu ameongeza mwaka mmoja. Kwa miaka ngapi? <laughs> One year has added unto me. But they don't tell the balance. <laughs> Why? Because to them miaka hesabu ya miaka na wasumbua because they are not waiting upon God. But when you are waiting upon God, kutembea kwa miaka na hesabu tu kwa vidole na wa msevente but in my strength it's like i'm beginning now now i'm coming to 80 lakini ninavyojihisi ni kama nilivyomaliza high school that was caleb yeye analilia vile vitu vigumu because alikuwa ameshalishwa na bwana ameshibishwa na bwana nguvu zake ni kama tai anasema i can run to and flow may that be your portion in this season may that be your portion in this season May that be your portion in this season. Then the Bible says, anarejesha upya kama tai. Tai ni ndege. Lakini ana asili ya mnyama. Ndege kawaida hutegemea matunda na mbegu pamoja na vitu vilivyokufa. Lakini tai ana asili ndani yake sawa sawa na simba. Anyway, Yesu alipokuwa na hubiri alisema kwamba tuwe watu bila hatia kama njiwa alafu tuwe werefu kama vitoto vya nyoka alafu sisi ni kondoo lakini tunapomngojea Bwana zaidi asiri ya njiwa 
asili ya kondoo inaanza kufa pole pole kunaanza kuzaliwa asili ya tai na asili ya simba haleluya men who have learned how to wait upon god they have a lion that has been born in them praise god watu ambao wamemngojea bwana kwa muda wana tabia za tai ndani yao number one of them they don't beg for anything wanaweza wakajitosheleza wanaweza wakajitegemea why because in waiting upon god kuna kukosa na kuna kupata ukikosa bado ni bwana ukipata mungu atukuzwe number two tai anajirejesha upya anaweza kajirevive akisha zeeka kucha zake zinakunjana badala ya kukamata mawindo anaanza kukosa kosa macho yake yanalala anakuwa hayawezi kuona kwa mbali kwa sababu ana uwezo wa kuona mbali as far as 20 to 30 kilometers kwa hivyo anakosa ile vision ya mbali akianza kuzeeka tai anajificha anaenda mafichoni anaingia kwenye pango alafu anakaa huko for 40 days ambao ni tabia ya kimungu Jesus fasted for 40 days anaingia kwenye pango anaanza kugonga kucha zake kwenye mwamba zikatike sio nilikata kwamba inakata zile kucha zinakatika kwa uchungu men who wait upon god hakuna uchungu naweza kumwambia ukamtisha they have seen all they have slept hungry that one they know bwana yesu asifiwe at one time nilikuwa bado kijana nikaenda kwenye mkutano mmoja nikakosa nauli ya kurudi where i had come from so i went to an old man nikamwambia baba nina nauli lakini haitoshi naomba ni ongezee niweze kupanda gari kurudi nyumbani akanambia una shilingi ngapi nikamwambia akacheka sana akanambia kizazi cha siku hizi hiyo pesa peleka madhabahuni kwanza <laughs> nikasema sasa huyu mzee mbona hana roho wa Mungu hawezi kuhurumia the upcoming preacher ambaye amekosa ame nauli <laughs> yule mzee hakuni haku, hakunipa pesa na alikuwa nayo akanambia hiyo peleka madhabahuni hiyo pesa you can walk alafu akanambia distance ya karibu ambayo walikuwa wanatembea kwenda kanisani kama ukunda na mtwapa <laughs> Ananiambia enzi zao kukiwepo mkutano anasafiri kutoka mbali anakuja kwa rafiki yake aliye karibu na kanisa kanisa liko mtwapa rafiki yake ako karibu ako ukunda so anatembea kutoka ukunda akienda mtwapa mimi natafuta nauli ya kunitoa town kunipeleka kikambala nikaona huyu mzee hana roho wa Mungu ndani yake but i realized one thing kwamba in the process of waiting god he saw all kwa hivyo hakuna jambo jipi ambayo naweza kumwambia likamtisha bwana yesu asifiwe now tai anapoona kwamba ameanza kukosa kosa ma, ma window badala afenja he has a second thought he enters in himself alafu anajiambia you can't die of hunger Go and repair yourself. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Now this week we are breaking the old clothes on our lives. Tunavunja zile kucha mbaya mbaya katika maisha yetu ili baada ya hapa wewe tunaweza one target one touch. One catch one hand. When I saw that some years back I said God I need you to help me. I had in my spirit go the ego style. I did not know what God meant. Go the ego style. Because I have been preaching the gospel, my friends around me they speak English. 
Luganda and a few Swahili. But I had the ego style. I had written my books. Nikaenda vitabu vyangu vitafusiriwe from English to Swahili. I paid a lot of money. Then I said, God, you said I will go to nations. I want my books in French. I went to a man from DRC, Unitaf Syria. Akaniambia papa, page moya, dola msini. Said, omesema nini? Omesema tano au msini. Omesema, dola msini, page moja. Nikaangalia kitabu changu, kina page karibia stini. Nikapiga hesabu kwa kalichuleta, nikasema, hey, my God. A voice came back, Go. The ego style. I'm now studying French. I'm breaking off the old clothes. Sasa ni mejificha somewhere. Kuna watu wana niuliza. Na ito kifaransa, utahubiria wap. I tell them, don't come when I'm preaching French. Those who know it, they will come. Now, when God wants to change your life, he will send you to a cave. Akuvunje vunje. Avunje zire kucha za zamani. Aweke kucha mpia. Kuna watu watavunjwa kucha za zamani hapa. Watawekwa kucha mpia. Mandike nasema, uze wako. God is concerned of where you are going than where you are. Yuma nasema, uze wako. Kwa hivyo, anakuanda sasa, ili kwa uze wako uwe salama. Anakuanda sasa, ili kwa uze wako uwe salama. Now, the ego goes to the cave. Inajivunja kucha. Two. In those 40 days, inakazi karibi ya nne. Inavunja kucha. Ina kuangua macho yake. Yanaanza kutoka machozi. Ili kwamba ile mboni yake, ipate vision mpia. Wanasfiwe. You know, one of the weapons that God gave us in life, it is the power of the vision. Mandike nasema kwamba watu wa ikosa maono wanakufa mapema. So what God does, anakupa maono. Lakini, kama umewacha kuona maono, then you are dying soon. Because you have no reason to live. When we speak of maono, ah manabi wa meharibu hiyo kitu. Mwana sfiwe. Mtu wakiona ndoto, anakimbizwa na ngombe, ati hiyo ameona maono. No. A maono, it is a plan that you have. Triple of the years you have ahead of you. Are you getting me? Kwa mfano, ukiwa na miaka rubaini, maono, ni ile picha ukonayo, ya miaka mia ishirini mbele yako. Ayo ndiyo naitua maono. It is the future plan. Now, kama kwa sasa hivi, maono yako ya meshuka, Hauoni vizuri. Uliza jani unaonaje squeeze. Uliza unaonaje squeeze. Yani, yani badala uone miaka, mia na ishirini mbele, unaona five years. Mwambia jirani, you need a cave. <laughs> yani kwa mfano, kama kwenye maono yako, uone wajukua wajuku wako, unaitaji cave. Kama unaona tu, hapo lipo, unaona tu, toto waka memaliza form 4. Form 4, unaona form 4, unaitaji tabia ya tai indani yako. Uwane uyo mtoto bada ya form 4, ako university, bada ya university, umeatendi graduation yake, bada ya hiyo, umeatendi wedding yake, bada ya hiyo, Umewasindikiza wakija kudedicate mutoto, mjuku in the church. You are somehow seeing. That's why the ego goes to the cave to work on the vision. This week we are working on the vision. I said we are working on the vision. We are working on the vision. Let me show you something. What we are going to work on. One, we are going to change the way we see things. Because when we, you wait upon God, anakulisha neno. Neno lake ni taa. Ambaye namulika ya jayo, kabula hayajakuja. Alright? 
Now, when we shall be here in the course of the week, this is what we are going to see. We shall stop seeing vehicles outside the church. But we shall be seeing vehicles in the underground parking. Come on. Are you getting what I'm seeing now? Now, you are no longer seeing the parking outside the church. But you are seeing the vehicles in the underground parking. Now, when you see that, you tell death, you can wait until I park my vehicle in the underground parking. Iyo ndiye na hitu wa kwamba, watu wangu wanaangamia kwa kosa maono, lakini mwenye maono, hawezi kufa. That's why Caleb could not die in the wilderness. He saw the mountains. Akiwa misiri, anaona mirima. Akiwa bahari ya shamu, wanamaliza kufuka, anaona mirima. Wakaenda kuchunguza ile inchi, akaangalia, akaangalia. Kasema hivi nikijenga gorofa kama hapa, naulizana na Joshua. Hivi gorofa yangu ile nikijenga kama hapa, sinaweza kufanikiwa. Na shule tukijenga hapa, tukamwambia sawa. Wale wengine bado hawana maono. Wakarudi wakasema, inchi tumeiona lakini haikaliki ile inchi. Like today, watu wamekosa maono every talk 2 minutes, corona 3 minutes, China Four minutes, sanitizer. Five minutes, corona. Two minutes, gani ya kupima. Four minutes, yani, yani you don't understand what they are seeing. Ask your neighbor, what are you seeing? Now, tunayenda kufunja vunja ngome. Ambazo zimejipanga kwenye akiri. So the ego goes to the cave, hides itself, 40 days, inavunja kucha, Alafu ina concentrate na vision yake. What you see is very important. Amen? What you see is very important. So, you start to claim what you have seen. Nasa, ile ego, ikimaliza kurudisha upia the sight. It deals with the feathers. Naza kushulikia mabawa. Strength now. After we have seen where we are going, we start to work on our strength now. Praise God. We start to work on our savings now. Because you can't be a billionaire when you have no investment. You can't be a billionaire. You cannot have the church where we are parking our vehicles in the underground when you are not employed. Come on. We start now to think in that church what should we do next? We put our university behind. In that church, what should we do? We put a Bible institute behind. Because we need knowledgeable, rich pastors. Hey! So, if you see what you are seeing, you refuse to die. Ata mungu naweza kumambia, Baba, najua ni naitajika ni kuje, lakini naombo ni luhusu, naona jambo hapa. Let me finish this. Hezekiah turned to the world. And he showed God a song he was going to sing for God. And he told him, the death cannot praise you. There is no praise in the grave. Father, if you heal me, I have a song for you. <laughs> he saw it. And God spoke to Isaiah. Hey! Hebu neno muongeza niya kumi natano. Amaliza uwa wimbo, alafu ni yakuje. Buwana Yesu asifiwe, wow. Na siku ya leo, pia unueza mtolea buwana. Useme, vile nimebarikiwa. Nataka ni, ni mtole buwana sadaka yangu. Na unaweza tuwa sadaka yako ukitumia M-Pesa till number 5317957. Na pia weza tumia paybill number 763766. Account number yake ni 919141. Na pia unaweza enda kwa equity uh, account. Na pia ukaweka uh, sadaka yako hapo. Na equity account number ni 0250-290-403-247. Na naamini ya kwamba ukiwa hapo nyumbani, hizo number unaweza zisoma kwa screen. Na najua kwamba ukimtolea buwana, umtolei mwanadamu. Mungu tunapo mtolea sadaka zetu, anabariki maisha yetu. Anabariki nyumba zetu. Anabariki maisha yetu kwa utukufu wake mwenyewe katika jina la Yesu Kristo.